Right now I'm going to tie up for you a mayfly style nymph on a jig hook. This particular jig hook is a Umqua uh, C400BL competition style, so it's barbless. I've got a gold bead on here. It's a 764 for a size 14. Uh, this fly is a mayfly style as I mentioned. I tie it in uh, 14, 16s uh, primarily. You could go smaller if you wanted or bigger as well. So I'm going to start with some black thread behind this lead. We're going to go ahead and take it back. This is a straight shanked hook, so we don't want to go to where the hook starts to bend. We don't want to get too far back. As a tail material, uh, one of my favorite tail materials out there is Coq de Leon, mostly because it's uh, very, very durable. That's probably the number one reason why I like it, but it also looks really good. I like this stuff a lot. Uh, I'm going to use the dark Coq de Leon for a tail on this fly. So it's going to be a dark bodied fly. Okay, so about six strands of Coq de Leon. Uh, one cool thing about this fly is it's only, minus the thread and the lead, it only requires four, four basic materials, so it's pretty simple. Okay, after we tie in the Coq de Leon tail, I'm going to take a piece of uh, a wire that will be used for the rib. It's size BR, and this color is wine, so kind of a purplish color. Tie that on the far side of the hook. After that, I'm going to take a piece of black holographic tinsel. And I'm going to tie it on the close side of the hook. Now you probably noticed that I didn't take my thread back to the front. I want to keep the body of this fly as thin as possible. I don't want to get a lot of thread on this fly. Get that little tab to lay down. Okay, although I am going to taper it ever so slightly. So I will go about halfway down, build my thread back up to behind the lead. Go about a third of the way down, build my thread back up. Just tapering this fly ever so slightly. Okay, and at that point, oops, I'm going to go ahead and put a half hitch to secure the line, the thread. Now to make this fly a little more durable, I'm going to take some head cement and just put a little bit of a coating on top of that thread to help keep our holographic tinsel uh, holding down nice and tight. Okay, for the body of this fly, it's going to be holographic tinsel underlay with that wine colored rib, so pretty basic. We're going to take it all the way to the back of that bead and tie it off. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is give this fly a simple rib. Try to keep your segments nice and even. Work it all the way back all the way up behind that bead. I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. Now I'm tying this on a jig hook. Primarily, uh, jig hooks ride upside down on the current. Keeps that point off the bottom. If there's any <clears throat> woody debris or other odd, odd substances, the idea behind it is it will reduce the, the amount of hang-ups that you have on the stream bottom and hopefully keep more flies in your box. So to finish this fly, I'm just going to go ahead and take some black semi-sil and give it a small little collar right behind that bead. After this whip finish, it will be done. Now I like this fly in uh, multiple different colors. I'll go ahead and put it on the blog post. Check it out. Uh, brown is one of my favorites. You can also tie it up with pearl. Looks a lot like a rainbow warrior at that case. Uh, this dark one with the wine colored ribs probably one of my favorites. Very simple, very great mayfly imitation.